Hey YouTube, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. We're starting inside today because I wanted to give a little bit of announcement. Um, I have a Korean exam coming up in two weeks on December 3rd. So for the next two weeks, I kind of want to hold myself up and kind of sit down and study because this is a pretty important exam. I want to make sure I pass it. So for video wise, I'm not going to be going out to too many places or like going somewhere far or showing something really cool that where I could show off more of Busan or Korea in general for you guys because it's going to take uh, well, it's going to take a lot of time in both traveling and editing and recording and all of that. And I, I should really actually focus and study. So um, the next two weeks are going to just be some kind of quicker videos. So that will be this upcoming week and the next week, basically, that are going to be short, a little shorter videos. And uh, I do appreciate you guys kind of sticking around for, for that. And I hope you guys enjoy those videos because I still want to make content for you guys. I don't want to just sit down for like two weeks and be like, oh, hey, I guess there's no videos. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. So with that being said, for today's video, I figured we'd go uh, do some K-pop stuff. Now, for those of you who know me, I am not the biggest K-pop guy. I like K-pop, but it's okay. Yo, what? Not liking K-pop? Uh, yeah, I mean, K-pop's all right. I, I enjoy it, but, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that it's cool, but I'm not super into it like how some other people are, like, devoted to it. Um, but we did have the BTS yet to come. I think that was like two or three weeks ago now. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't go to the concert itself, but the members of BTS did have some places that they recommended to visit in Busan. And I just recently learned that there is a cafe that I can go visit that is owned by the uncle, I believe, of Jimin. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go check out that cafe. It's called Magnate. And I just wanted to kind of see the cafe. I don't think Jimin's going to be there because he's probably busy in Seoul or whatever. But I think it'd be really cool to kind of show it off for those people who are interested in K-pop. And, I, you know, if you if you are uh, interested in BTS, you probably already know about this cafe. I'm going to be honest. But for those of you who aren't and don't know about it, I think this would be very useful. Also, they, as I said earlier, they did visit a couple places. So there is one or two places that I do want to check out that they themselves have recommended to come and uh, visit in Busan. So... I think that's what we'll go ahead and do as well. Not in this video. This video is only going to go check out the Magnate Cafe. Um, but the next week video, I think we'll go and check out one of the places they recommended. Or it could be something completely different. I'm not sure yet. But either way, hope you guys enjoy the video. So that's all the information I got for you guys for today. As I said, got a test coming up soon. So it's just going to be kind of quick and easy videos for the next two weeks. And then after that, we're going to be back with some pretty more in-depth, more involved, cool, fun videos. And uh, yeah, wish me luck with my exam. I hope it goes well and I pass. Oh man. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit at the cafe, YouTube. All right, YouTube, here we are. Magnate. I like the little uh, person with presents on the top, carrying, uh, carrying, playing the guitar. It's quite spacious from the outside. Looks very cool. There's nothing around here though. Let me flip you guys. Yeah, there's just, um, you know, honestly, it's like kind of probably the most fit place for a cafe. Also at the same time, not the fittest place for a cafe because there's nothing around here. But uh, I assume maybe that's supposed to be Jimin, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, let's go inside. I'm very excited. I saw the pictures online, looked very cool. And uh, from, the, from what I saw, it looked very big, so. Here's to see what's inside. Oh. Wow. This is quite fancy. All of this stuff is for Jimin for his birthday, I guess. I assume these are presents for Jimin. Yeah, wow. All right, well, aside from the Jimmy and stuff, I think it's just a normal cafe that his dad owns. I think I might have said uncle earlier, but it's, it's definitely his dad that owns this cafe. Whether his dad is actually working here today, I don't think so, but let's go ahead and actually 
check out what they have to offer. All right, just kind of walking from one side of the cafe to the other, kind of show it off a bit more. They got kind of like a private room, maybe outdoor seating. I guess when the weather's better, these very nice bathroom doors. Nice. And then uh, we're taking the long walk. So we did order some pastries as well, just to give them a try. Even though I am super full from lunch, but I do want to try them out. They do have this sweet heater. These things are really clutch when it is cold outside. And then here we are at the other side of the cafe. And with actually other restrooms. Okay, nice dude, nice. This place is huge. Oh yeah, and these are like, I heard these are like Jimin's collections of hats. I think that's what I heard. They have them on display. All the hats that he's worn, I believe. I like these Coke plates and Louis Vuitton, Chanel. These are actually really cool plates. The Coke one is my favorite. And then more hats. I assume you cannot touch these or wear them. They're just there for display. And I really like this centerpiece. This is actually quite nice with like a little sitting island around. Not very convenient, I think, for, for drinking or eating, but very cool. And then back over here. It's very unique decor, I think. Oh, is this their cold brew system? Yo, I don't think I've ever actually seen a cold brew system. Yo, this is, yeah, this is legit. This is some nice stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you can get some uh, memorabilia. Okay, nice. All right, let's go to our seat and uh, wait for our coffee slash snacks. All right, YouTube, here we go. We have gotten our coffee, our snacks. So we have a corn cheese sausage and a chocolate croissant. That's, that's gonna be mine. Uh, and then we have a drip latte as well as a dark Americano. This drip one is the beans are from Costa Rica, is what they said. So, you know, take that for a will. I do like the cup. Nice blue cup. Uh, let's see how it all tastes. All right. Get a little bit of this coffee first. A little acidic, but it's fine. And uh, they gave us a fork and knife, but I'm a pleb, so I'm gonna just use my hands because God gave me these things. Might as well use them. That is very, very rich chocolate. I'll give Jimin's dad the benefit of the doubt and say that because it's later in the day, the bread is, the bread is all right. But as someone who is Francais, uh, very, very picky with my bread. It's flaky, but it doesn't really have a lot of, uh, how do I say it? Like it's got too much chew. And then the crispiness or the flakiness is too hard. And the chocolate, uh, it kind of tastes like they, they use like a mixture of Nutella, which is nice, but I don't know. When I want a chocolate croissant, it has to have like a, like a light amount of chocolate in it. They're not like very abrasive amount of chocolate. So it's good, but for me, it's a, it's a little bit too much. So I do want to try this, this corn cheese. Mm. Uh, I'm very interested. Corn cheese sausage. Just give me that, that piece.
I like that. It's actually really good. Wow. That was actually, that was really nice actually. That was very, very good. It's a basic sausage or hot dog, I should say, not sausage. It's a basic hot dog. But the sauce they use is very nice. It's like a spicy mayo kind of, but very light. Cheese good, corn good. If you're not a big fan of corn cheese, I think you might actually like this one because it doesn't really taste like normal corn cheese something. It's got a little bit of a spiciness to it. Almost kind of tastes like you're eating a pizza. So that was actually pretty nice. Better, better than my chocolate croissant, in, uh, in all honesty. I'm kind of jealous because my chocolate croissant is too sweet. But I guess for, um, for drinking coffee, the chocolate croissant's not too bad because then I can counter that. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the video for today, YouTube. I know it wasn't very big. I knew it wasn't very long or uh, maybe exciting. But as I said earlier, I, I got a lot, of, a lot of studying to do even throughout the week even, not just today. So my efforts are gonna be kind of pushed towards that. Just gonna kind of wrap up this video. And then for next week, we might do another kind of BTS related thing. Or I was actually thinking of visiting one of the special marts that are around by around by around the area but uh thank you youtube for watching i know again as i said that this um particularly short video but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and if you are in busan be sure to stop by jimmy and dad's cafe magnet pretty easy to get here just take a subway and take a bus not far at all Maybe from my house about 40 minutes so and uh, i'll put the link below i know that sometimes i say that and forget but i will put where it is uh, in the description below so you can see that down there and as always don't forget to like sub drop a comment love seeing comments you guys have been great thank you for the birthday wishes as well really appreciate that thank you so much and uh i'll see you next time youtube peace out <laughs>